Hello and welcome back to Season 9 in SnowRunner, and if you watched the last episode, you'll know that we attempted to recover the new Dairy Special, although if you haven't seen that video, I do highly recommend going and checking it out. Um, it was kind of an odd video because things went a bit more wrong than they usually do, but long story short, if you didn't watch it, the Dairy Special ended up in the water, fully submerged at the bottom of a waterfall, and I knew that I wasn't going to get it out with any regular truck. So I got the most insane wrecker that I possibly could, and this is such a wrecker. Now, this thing has a sleeper, it has a giant, well, it's almost an entire rotator, pretty much. This actually, this isn't, I don't think this is a rotator, this is essentially, it just goes up and down, it doesn't rotate. But I'll make sure of that, but it doesn't look like, with the way it's designed, it doesn't look like it would have room to rotate. But other than that, I don't think we're even going to need the capacity for it to do that with the immense power that this truck offers. So, without any further ado, let's fire this thing up and go finish rescuing that dairy special. Still one of the most intimidating startup and idle sounds in this game ever basically ever created, ever created for this game. I don't think that there are any other startup and idle sounds that are quite as overall intimidating as this one. Now, the best way to get to where that dairy special is, is I believe to go over here to the right, go through town, over the bridge, and then towards the waterfall, because the waterfall is where that truck is. Oh, God. Uh, I approached that turn a little bit faster than it wanted me to. It kind of was like, hey... Uh, why are you being a dummy? Why are you approaching this turn at, like, you know, Mach 10? And I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, I figured it'd be fun. And the game was like, well, why? Your idea of fun is not what lines up with what it, I think it's supposed to be. And I'm like, well, shouldn't we be ha shouldn't we all be having fun in this game, regardless of what our idea of fun is? And the game is like, no! You should only drive slowly! I don't know why that rant kind of came out of nowhere for me, but it... it Trust me, sometimes those rants happen for me in this game. I don't know, they probably happen for y'all too sometimes. Let me know if, in the comments below, if there are any times where you find yourselves playing SnowRunner and a random rant just happens out of nowhere. Like, it's one of those things for sure. All right. God, I love the Jake Brake sound in this truck. It's so good. Diesel Addict 66 did such an incredible job making this mod. And if you enjoy this truck, check out the rest of Diesel Addict 66's trucks. They're all really, really good. And they evolve every time. Diesel's mods literally get better with every single build. All right, let's see. I'm going to cut the trail right here because we want to get that thing out. And we want to get it out as quickly as we can. And we're pretty much... We're pretty much on a direct course with it. Easy. I'm gonna try not to bang up the tow truck too much. I know I'm probably gonna get a couple scratches on it here and there, but... Yeah, don't worry about it. Completely and totally fine. Can you tell that I have quite a good chunk of coffee in my system? I don't know why I said a chunk. A chunk is not something that is used usually to describe a liquid. So normally one would not have a chunk of coffee in one's system. Unless you legitimately ate a chunk of coffee beans, which... Sheesh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I see its wheels! Yes, this will be fine. I think. This will probably actually not be fine, but... <laughs> don't... Like, I don't know. We'll see. Alright. This is where this thing gets put to the actual test. Oh, dear. Well, we got the weighted skull on the front. Let's go! Has this thing met its match? Uh, probably no. Whoa! The weighted skull might have met its match because this thing is getting absolutely launched into the air on the front end. Dude, I don't know if we're getting it out of there like that. We might have to have a little bit of a different approach here. Let me get myself a little bit closer to the truck. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, that was almost awful. That was almost the worst possible thing. All right, let me see if I can do a little bit of a different approach here. I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to try to use my front winch, because I have one of those, too. All right, let me get myself into position. And this should be interesting. All right, let's get you out of there. Let's attempt to get you out of there. 
Oh, not the winch point I was initially wanting. Uh, there we go. Oh, God. It's pulling me down. In this. I mean, well, maybe not. It's actually slowly but surely pulling that dairy up. So that's good. So if I can get that up at least three quarters of the way, we should be able to change our approach and get into position. So let me get you just a little bit further up here. And then I'm going to back up, and before that thing launches down the waterfall, let me move this truck and pull. Good to go. Almost. Oh, it's almost there. God, we really put ourselves in a bit of a pickle last time, didn't we? We, like, this was bad last time. Oh, my God. Dude, that truck is, uh, that truck is so doomed. It's so bad. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Pull it, pull it, pull it. God, almost. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes, there we go. There we go. All right. Now, let's see if we can get this thing back over this way. And from there, we should be all right. I'm going to flip it over onto its wheels first. Not exactly how I thought that was going to go, but all right. It's good. All right, now we can use the tow boom to actually tow the dairy or the Oshkosh, whichever you want to call it. Finally. Yo, this, all right, this is actually finally working out. We're actually finally having some success in this recovery. It's going to flip back over, isn't it? Yep, yep, it is. Please don't wreck the tow truck. If I wreck the tow truck, I might just push it over the edge again. <laughs> yes? No! Oh, it was so close. Come on, dude. Come on. All right. In order for it to stay upright, I think I may have to rotate it around to the front. There we go. Okay. Now, we might actually be able to have some success in towing this thing. So, I'm going to get really close to it. Hook it up. Well, before we hook it up, I'm going to actually uh, rotate the time just a little bit. All right, there we go. A little bit closer. And then tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. Boom, let's go. There we go. All right, that is how I wanted that truck situated. All right, so now we should actually be on the right track to head back to the garage and drop this thing off. Now, we are going to actually kick this thing up a gear or two uh, because I don't really want to, like, mess around with low range. I want to put the power down. Um, I didn't go for the maximum beans in this thing to not put the power down. So, out of my way, tree. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Sending it. Sending it. Letting everybody know so they get out of my way because they're going to need to get out of the way. When they see this absolute, like, freight train of a tow truck uh, coming through, they're probably going to need to move. Hold on, let me actually... Yep, beacons, come on. Oh, I love how it's like a scroll type rather than a flash type. That's really cool. I dig that. I really do. All right, finally making my way out onto the main road. You know, now that I think about it, maybe this is what we should have gone with ahead of time instead of the tank cat. Don't get me wrong, I love the tank cat, but the tank cat is like, is like, if you're gonna use the tank cat as a tow truck, you should probably use it for recovering things that are around its size, not like twice its size. This is a lot more suited to recovering that type of vehicle. I love how there's a sign somewhere around in this town that's like, no Jake breaks in town, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go wide. Easy back around. Once again, for good measure. Ow. I know that every time I do that, the Oshkosh hits the back of my tow truck. And honestly, I just don't care. Like, that's the biggest thing is I just don't care. See you later, town. Come on. All right, just the last couple of corners left to go. Almost there. This thing is so satisfying to drive. It is probably one of the most satisfying vehicles to drive in the entire game. Like, from a mod standpoint, just because you could just decimate. You could absolutely decimate recoveries left and right. Well, recoveries, hauls, just about whatever you want to do. All right, we're going to swing just a tad wide for this one. And bring it around. Easy. There we go. 
Passing that wall on the inside, and boom! Let's go! Our beauty's back! Any fire will be an easy mission. Not bad at all. Now, now that we've got this thing out, uh, y'all got any more of them recoveries? Cause, dude, we are equipped for it. I'm gonna roll this thing back over to the other side of the yard and get it parked, but if any other recoveries come up, I think I know exactly which truck I'm grabbing the keys to first. But if y'all want to see more of Season 9 and SnowRunner, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on, and I will see y'all in the next one. Talk to y'all later, and I hope y'all enjoyed.